Stop watching media now. Hi, how's everybody doing? Welcome to another episode. In this episode, I'm going to talk about why you should put down your phone, put down the media loop, get outside, because it's depressing. And um, it, it's depressing, and it controls your your emotions. It can it when they put emotions into media like they did with the like button. Uh, that changed the way society behaves, and it changed the way uh, communities behave, and it made it to where. We became a global society. And when you have a global society, things are harder to predict. So things like pandemics can happen, which is what we're going through now. Things like depression can can hit pretty quickly. Um, Pandemics have always come with free trade and trade routes. And trade routes um, all the way back to ancient times, ancient China. Um, you know, the first bubo plague, the first bubonic plague, um, came from the Silk Road and came from China and, and, and uh, got its way into ancient Greece and spread from there. But it came with the trade, the trade routes, right? And that's where this current pandemic is coming from. It's coming from the trade routes from China. Um, Nothing new. This has always been the way it is. Uh, What is new is the uh, way we the way we communicate, which is digitally. Now that's new. So uh, I would uh, be very cautious to to watch too much media. Um, I would, uh, go outside, I would go ride a bike, I would go for a walk. Uh, too much TV and too much internet is, is harmful for your mind, body, and soul. Uh, just simple fact that they don't want you to know. Um, I, I wouldn't watch any of the news. The news is, it's just going to, um, feed you more lies. Um, lie after lie, and it's, it's harmful. So, um... That's that's my um, um, little piece of advice for you guys. Uh, with uh, regards to the pandemic, the pandemic is not new. This is not new. Um, I really don't want to talk too much about that, but I will talk about the history of the pandemics um, with bubo, bubo plague, um, with, uh, it's always come from trade routes, trade routes. So, um, uh, you know, we trade with China. We, 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 you know, a pandemic was, was bound to happen, right? Um, so, you know, a pandemic was bound to happen, but too much media, it's run on a loop. It's run on a time loop, um, and it puts emotion into it with with things like the like button, and it 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 does a lot of damage. And there's um, a lot of evidence for that. And uh, it also controls your behavior, and so that's why we should be very cautious uh, on where we go moving forward with things like uh, vaccines and tracking and tracing. Because with things like that, I mean, as soon as you open up tracking and tracing, um, that's, that, that, that's a loss of your, your freedom. That's a loss of your free will. Um, so... You're, you're giving up your freedom for safety in hopes that you 
it will stop whatever it is that you're trying to protect yourself against, which in this case would be a virus. So you don't want to give up your rights. You don't want to give up your freedoms. And uh, uh, that's very important. You don't want to give up your data. Um, you want to be able to trust your um, uh, companies, whether it be your utility company, your post office box. Um, you don't want people gathering your data and selling them, which is currently happening. Um, that's not good. Obvious, for obvious reasons. The thing is, is they don't teach this in school, so a lot of people don't know this. But a lot, some people do know this. Some self-taught people uh, do know this. So um, that is um, why the media is bad for you. So uh, put down your phone. Try to go outside. Try to uh, go somewhere without your smartphone. You know, go somewhere without your phone. And, and, and just see how addictive... It really is. Um, it, 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 media is addictive. Um, and too much media um, can lead to depression and anxiety and uh, bipolar disorder. And so, uh, so put down the phone, go outside, do what you do, live, with, live, live life to the fullest. Uh, that's one of the things that I'm, I'm, I'm worried about is... is with this pandemic, the, the, the pandemic is, is going to change people's behavior, but it shouldn't change people's behavior that much. Because if it changes people's behavior too much, it becomes a liability. It, it, it becomes worse than the actual problem. Um, and so you, you don't want to give up too much for the problem, which I think we are just going at this the wrong way. Um, and that's, that's worrisome. We'll see what this week brings. We'll see if this week brings good fortune. We'll see what the leader of the free world says. Um, I guess I'm going to talk on politics. I didn't want to, but, uh, with, you know, with Trump, yeah, I almost feel bad for him. You almost have to feel bad for him. I mean, whether you you're feel yourself to be to the right or to the left does not matter in the end. Um, you should be somewhere in the middle. Um, I don't want to tell you where you should be, but you almost have to feel bad for for uh, Trump. He, you know, he's, he's doing the best he can. Um, and it's, 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 it's gotta be tough. I couldn't imagine, um, getting up there every day in front of a camera, um, in front of people who hate you, um, you know, and, and having to deal with the media circus and having to deal with, with all that, you know, nonsense. I couldn't, couldn't imagine that, um. So you got to you got to feel bad for him. I didn't want to get into politics, but I went into it for a little bit. Um, you know, he can't hold his rallies anymore. He can't um, do so many things that he wanted to do. Um, and so, yeah, in a, in a way, you got to feel bad for him. Um, so, all right, that's all for now, guys. Peace out.